Hey, what's up guys? So I just bought this giant whiteboard, right? And I thought it'd be kind of cool if I made a bunch of different videos using the whiteboard to help you understand different BMX specs. Because on my website, that's a big thing that people ask about is what top tube size should I get? What does the chainstay mean? What does the head tube mean? And I have a bunch of posts going in depth on there, but I was thinking maybe a video would help explain it better. So welcome to the BMX Specs video series. If there's something that you have a specific question about, don't forget, just leave a comment and I'll make sure that I address it. Uh, today I'm gonna be talking about chains. Now this is something that I completely missed out on in my Big Book of BMX Specs ebook that I wrote. Um, I didn't think it was that important. And then somebody messaged me and said, hey, you should talk about chains. And I actually got to thinking about it. between a full link and a half link really is kind of confusing and it's something you need to understand when you start to look at the different chainstay lengths. Um, so how your chain's going to fit and all that, I'll kind of dive in a little deeper so that you understand a little more about chains. So when you're shopping for a new chain, you're going to see full link chains and you're going to see half link chains. Now full link chain looks a little bit like this. Excuse the drawing. I really tried my best. Um, but essentially they're a little longer and there's like a set inside and a set outside. Uh, so generally they're connected with a master link, which has a plate that goes on top and then a pin system that slides through so that you can easily pop that off and like take the chain off. It's really easy. Uh, I'm not too sure why you need to take your chain off very often, but maybe you do. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, unless you're changing out frames or something like that. Um, but with this, these are a lot weaker, the plates on there, uh, because they're so spread out. So there's not as much concentration when they're bunched together. And what happens is over time, when you pedal, it puts stress on the chain because it's stretching it out. So a lot of times that outside plate's going to break off and your chain's going to come apart. So oftentimes you're going to have to replace this. Uh, you'll find a lot of full length chains at say, Walmart. Uh, they're just really low priced chains for the most part. The other thing about full link chains is you can find them with a hollow pin. So what that is, is the pin that goes through and holds the links together will be hollow. And ultimately this is going to save you a lot of weight, but it weakens the chain overall. Uh, KMC has a really crazy chain. It's got hollow pins and then like these are also hollowed out like right here and right here to save save even more weight. Uh, I've never ridden it, but I do feel like it would not last very long. So that's that. Uh, the other thing about full links is they are cheap. They're inexpensive. Uh, they snap really easily. Like I said, because of the, the weaknesses built around there, uh, but they are easy to install with that master link system. So when I was riding full link chains, I would break one literally every three months. Uh, I'd go to the bike shop, I'd get one, a colored one, you know, for $9 and it breaks. So every three months I just buy a new chain. Now, a couple of years ago, I switched to half link chain. Uh, I ride the Shadow Interlock V2 because it is a lot cheaper than the Supreme. And honestly, I've never broke the Interlock V2. So I do feel like the Supreme's a waste of money for me. Maybe it's not for you. I don't know. Uh, if you do break the Supreme chain, like, let me know. I'll give you a hundred bucks because I've never heard of it happening. And this is because half link chains are really strong. They're put together like this. So if you can see the links are a lot closer together and that just builds a lot more strength altogether. And you can find hollowed out half link chains with the hollow pins and everything. Um, and they're still, they're going to be stronger, but since there's more of a concentration of metal where they link up, they are heavier. 
So if you're a weight weenie, um, maybe go with the broken chain every three months. If you really want to save like three ounces, I don't know, something like that. Uh, something you need to keep in mind when you're shopping for a chain is that the weight it gives you is for the full chain. Okay. It's for this whole chain. And generally you're only going to use like this much of it. So keep that in mind if you're shopping for them. Uh, it's not always as heavy as it says. Uh, the other thing you need to think about is what kind of chain stay you have. Now, if you have a really long chain stay, you need to make sure that you have enough length there uh, on the chain you're buying. And I'll talk a little bit more about how to like fine tune your wheel placement with a full link or with a half link here in just a second. So let's get back to the half link. Um, like I said, they are a lot stronger because of this concentration, how they're compressed together. The other thing is it's easier to slam the wheel. So what I mean by that is this is your chain stay, right? Okay, this is where your wheel goes. Now, some people, for whatever reason, want to ride their chain stay at, at the shortest possi possible uh, length, which would be 12.5 or whatever it is, uh, as close as they can to that. Now, with this, you can only shorten it by that much. With this, you can shorten it by this much. So it gives you a lot more range to play with. And if you are looking to do that and your full length, uh, we'll either let your wheel be like, let's say like out here or right here. So you take a, take a link off and it goes right here. You add a link, it's right here. With a half link, you could get your wheel right here or right here, if that makes any sense. Um, but you do have a lot more like control over where your wheel's gonna end up with the half link. The last thing about the half link is it is expensive. Um, like I said, Full links at Walmart are like $8, where the last half link uh, I bought was probably 39, 35, somewhere around there. But it's lasted me years. So keep that in mind. Ultimately, I'm gonna just recommend spend the extra money, get a half link no matter, no matter what. It makes the adjusting so much easier. It makes it so much stronger so you don't slam your knee into your stem. And it's just ultimately is such a much better investment to go with that. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think a full link is better or do you think a half link is better? Let me know.